Hey friends, it has been a while, I know. If you're watching this video now and you are a subscriber, then you will know that it has been uh, since, I think 2021, we last posted a video, and I think that was our springtime table, um, drawing table, which you can paint color in and stuff like that. But if you haven't seen that video, I'll link that um, to this video as well. But yeah, it has been a while. I had my son, he is 14 months old and thriving, bless him. So I've been doing lots of playtime activities over on um, Instagram which is on our Splash and Mash Instagram if you're not already following that then you can go ahead and follow that if you like that's where I post most of the activities that we do um, and I'll just show you some of them I'll show you like how to set it up and what the theme is for that week um, for him now because he's a little bit more mobile and he is raring to go basically he's looking to, to play so if you do have a 14 month old or a, a couple of months old then you know what i'm talking about because they are just so busy and want to just do everything and explore everything which is great and if we can show them how to explore in a safer way and um, which is lovely and sensory then yeah why not so yeah i am gonna just do my first ever vlog on this channel because I just thought I'm gonna just do something more relaxed I haven't posted in a while because obviously I've had baby and we've just been really busy just doing just mum life you know the usual um, but I didn't want to not um, put anything out there for you guys so I thought I wanted to share my new adventure which is one of the play tables you've probably seen them before and um, let's have a look so there's these what is it? It's not a play table, it's like the water table um, for kids, but then it's like the PVC piping that you've probably seen um, a few um, Instagrammers have. They just look so good, and now that he's standing and can actually reach the play table, I wanted to kind of try and create the piping that could go onto the table that we originally have, which if you've seen our table, I'll, I'll probably just show you anyway. We've got the wooden um, table with the divider in the between. So if I show you what I'm talking about, um, hopefully you'll be able to see it properly. So it's the PVC pipe sensory table play water play. And if you see, it's like loads of, you know, like it's like the pipe in, and then you can just like add like the funnels and stuff like that which i just thought would be really fun for him and i just don't think it's going to be that hard to create something like this so i just thought hey you know what let's go shopping let's go and have a look and see what they've got at the diy store i'm probably going to pop into a few after nap time um sir is sleeping now so he's having his morning nap so once he gets up i will prepare his lunch and then we'll head straight out and see if I can get um, just something that I could create the piping with. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see what this, this table is going to look like. Um, I'll just show you quickly what our table originally looks like. I think we've got one of the sensories already on there. So I'll show you. This is our ta play table that you've seen, probably seen already. Um, so these, so basically these come out, sometimes I struggle to get these out with my nails, <laughs> but um, let me just take this out, right okay, so one of the trays already I've taken out because it had one of the sensories in there from, our, if you watch us on our Instagram stories you'll know why this is missing, because we had one of the sensory trays on one of the massive um, trays to catch it all, so I need to I'm just changing that over. Um, and again, this needs to be changed as well. This is just some sand and some scoops from our last um, sensory that we did. And then we've got the magnets so we can collect all the little coins in here. So this sensory is actually for my older child who is five um, and I wouldn't give this to anyone younger than three or obviously just not at the swallowing age because obviously you know little people could 
could swallow this so so yeah this has got like the trucks and everything in here and so yeah this is the table so I'm thinking if I put the piping I could do piping all around it and then going over and then having a few funnels that maybe like two funnels in between so you could just pour things through I think that would be quite nice and quite fun so yeah let's see how this plans out because obviously like I said this is my first time building something like this and yeah let's just go on the journey with me so and also I had my what did I have done today I had the plumber came around today and did all insulated the pipe so he kindly left me some of these foam little foam sticks i'm sure the kids will be really excited when they get home from school they can just you know do you know what they're going to do probably just sword fighting or build, build something with it so i thought that's quite fun they an activity they could probably do after school um so yeah better get on with lunch <laughs> And I still didn't even have what I needed. So I'm gonna quickly run before the before I have to do school run, I'm gonna go and get, um, I've got to take this back, um, the backpack with the rain it's on it. Um, I really love this, it was like a little tortoise backpack and the hook's missing. Um, so I'm gonna run back to Tesco's quickly and see if I can go and change that. Hopefully, I've got my receipt, but I've ripped the packaging so I was so excited and I thought, oh, I could use it straight away. So I'm gonna run to Tesco's quickly and get that sorted, get that exchanged. Um, and then I see people in my review like, what is, who is she talking to? Um, the beauties of vlogging when you're outside. Um, so I'm gonna go and do that and then, then hopefully maybe check B&Q or I don't even know where else to check. A lot of them was just saying, oh, you should just check Amazon. So I'm probably gonna have to order on Amazon, but it just means I have to wait. And you know when you're just ready to make it now, I just wanna do it now. So I feel a little bit disappointed, but I'm not gonna give up. Is she cute? Look, the cutest backpack ever. currently a Friday morning and what did we do yesterday? Yesterday I left we left off from me going to the store trying to get the bits for the play table which didn't work out because for some reason they just didn't have anything I was looking for um, so I just did Amazon last night went on Amazon ordered it so it should be here some of the pieces are coming today and some is coming on Saturday um, and then I can make it I can finally put it together 
Um, I decided to go with something a little bit different, but I just, I don't know, I want it to be a little bit different, so I decided to go with like a clear tube. I'm hoping that this pays off, because the clear tubing is actually a little bit more expensive than the, the normal, the normal um, colourful tubing. So yeah, I'm just going to go for clear. I've only bought like two pieces. I know they're not that long, but I'm just going to do the design once it's here, and hopefully my um my pipe cutters can actually cut through this because it does say it's pvc it says it's pvc piping so hopefully i can actually like because it's quite a manual clamp it's like a cutter you can just squeeze through so hopefully i can cut it so yeah that is going to be done hopefully well i'll probably just start the whole thing tomorrow on saturday because the last piece is coming tomorrow anyway so and then it's done i could just make it all um, so yeah, I've done the school run already and now Mr. Man is having his morning nap So I'm gonna let him have his nap. We have to go to my daughter's school a little bit earlier today because she has um, An open day which is really nice actually because it's the first Open day we've had since COVID, you know Like obviously they don't let parents into the school and stuff like that. So it's just really nice and exciting I'm actually gonna get to go into the school and see her classwork and see all the little bits and things that she's been doing and she'll probably show me like pictures and work that she's really really proud of and i don't know it's just nice it just yeah it's just gonna be so nice to see her work and it's just nice to see how excited they are as well to show you stuff so yeah and then we get to leave school a little bit early today which is great i'm always excited for that i can prep the dinner and do that a little bit earlier um, but while Mr. Man now is having a nap, I wanted to go ahead and try and make um, a sensory for tomorrow. This one's going to have to just be put in the fridge and set for, I think, 24 hours. I don't know, maybe for a few hours. We'll see what it looks like in a few hours. Um, uh, yeah, so this sensory is going to be sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and make that now. And then I'm going to prep his lunch so the lunch is ready for when he wakes up for the nap. So he doesn't have to wait too long. And yeah, I was originally going to go to the shops and just see if there's any more like sensory bits I can pick up and stuff. But do you know what I've realised? I think I've accumulated so much stuff and pieces over the time, over, over the year. And I just have a lot of stuff already. So I might just go into my storage cupboard, which I have actually organised. It's semi, it's fully organised, but it doesn't look very pretty. But it's very organised and I'm really pleased because that took me ages to do um so yeah i'm gonna go and head in there the storage cupboard and see if i can just pull out anything good uh to add to the sensory that i have planned already for today so yeah i'm gonna stop chatting and show you how i'm gonna make this sensory okay so i'm all set to make my sensory i'm just gonna make a colored corn flour so i just picked these up from co-op but you can get corn flour from anywhere um i've got some food coloring um i've just basically just took what i had in the shed um in my little box um this is the only food coloring i have left which is most peculiar because i had loads but anyway that's what i've got left um and then uh, like a container so i just got this one airtight so i've just got this little lid and i'll just pop that off and then i can and then also water. I'm just gonna put like water in this jug. And yeah, let's see how this goes. The whole thing would have to set for, I think 24 hours or overnight until the water actually evaporates. And then, yeah, then we're gonna get the consistency that we want to do scooping and pouring.
today, sensory. I'm just going to do a cornflakes sensory for him today. So I'm just going to put the cornflakes down and he can then drive his tractors through them or he can carry them in the colander or mini sieve. Um, and then he's got the two different size cups, um, a scoop, so I can do some scooping, and one of these, which he really likes these scissor scoopers as well. Um, and I've obviously added a tweezer to obviously help with his hand coordination. So this is a good exercise for his little hands. And also I picked up his roller, which is not really meant for this sensory personally, but I don't know. I just think it will be quite nice for him to be able to crush the cornflakes with the roller. So let's see how he gets on with this. So I'm going to set this all out now in the living room. I've just cleared the space for the floor. So it's still a little bit messy because obviously you've got the music station. He's tidying up. Let's pack that up. And then I'll just put this out now for him so when he wakes up from his nap he can have his lunch and then he can go and play so i'm gonna do that now <laughs> decided to do watermelon with some yogurt for Boo for his lunch today because he hasn't had watermelon in such a long time I just thought you know what I'll prepare that because it's been so hot and I'll just do them in strips for him Always try it first. <laughs> mm.
wrapped up now in clean felt and then I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and then as soon as he wakes up and give it straight to him so he doesn't have to wait. So yeah. <laughs> you eating your food? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Well done, darling. A good little eater. Mm. Mm. currently Sunday and we are in the car um, I didn't vlog properly yesterday because I had family over so I just did like little snippets of the platter it was the first time ever I actually created my own seafood platter of it kind of came out really well and yeah I just loved it so today I'm just gonna finish up getting the last bits for the play table the water table that I've been trying to create all week um, I managed to order the stuff from Amazon which has come through the post but I kind of want to get one more long pipe in um, so I decided to go to B&Q and see what they've got so yeah wish me luck I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and then we're gonna create that today and then I'll do all the measurements and I'll put all the measurements that we do for this project down below <laughs> Okay, so let's just say it didn't turn out how I thought it was going to turn out. These pieces are just obviously too big, so it just didn't really stay together. So I decided to order more bits. Oh, and also this is broken. So the actual container that I was measuring my play table for is actually got a hole in it. So I'm going to have to just abandon the idea and um, reorder one of these and get some different pipe in but I just made a makeshift one so that's what the top bit's gonna look like with the funnel and these bits on it which I quite liked because it's a clear one I want it to be a little bit different um, but I'm gonna I've just made it for this big container for now while I order the parts for basically the rest of it. So, hold on, let me just squeeze this a bit more stable. Yeah, so I'm gonna secure this better for when the kids are playing, but actually no, it doesn't even need to be, can it be diagonal? It doesn't really need to be diagonal. Let me, hold on. Hmm. Okay. Let's pull that out. So, yeah. For now, that's what the water table's gonna be like. Um. Yeah. So I'm gonna let them play with that for now, and then I will get the proper parts in and just show you what it looks like after, and I'll pull the measurements at the bottom. So now my 
corn flour has finally dried this took about I've left it for 24 hours only because I checked on it in 10 hours and it was still a bit wet like in the corners here but it's I don't know it's I've just I literally forgot about it because I was so busy doing trying to plan the play table that I completely forgot this was still drying out which is good because it's completely dry and it's turned into back to the cornflower powder so I'm gonna go and sieve this crush this down um, and then just pop this into one of his sensories and just present it to him so we can just go ahead and play Yesterday um, was Tuesday and all the pieces had actually come from Amazon to finish up my water table. This sensory table has literally, I think, taken me all week because there has been a hiccup here and there. I've got like the wrong sizes for like the adapters and everything. It was just like, oh, but I'm so glad now I finally got the pieces. So. Yesterday the delivery came yesterday and I was so excited so I literally sat there and just started cutting up all the pieces but before I knew it, it was literally time for bath time, bed, routine so I had to kind of stop. So I cut all the pieces and laid them out for myself so I can remember what I'm doing for today. Um, so yes, today I'm going to complete the table. I'm just so excited that I'm just going to finally complete the table. Um, I'm going to try and put all the measurements at the bottom. Or I may link a video of another lady, another mummy that actually um, created a similar table. Um, obviously mine's a little bit different. I don't know. I'm going to try because my measurements literally are all over the place. I really did try. But um, it worked out. So I might just re-measure what I've actually done and show you 
my little table so yeah all the parts i will put a link to below so you know where i got my tubing from and my connectors and things like that and yeah so yeah it's been a really nice week i didn't intend for this vlog to go on for so long i'm not even sure even how long my vlog is but you know what i've done my vlog i'm so happy that i finally have done it and i wanted to show you exactly how i made the created this play table because you know what it wasn't easy to create but i'm glad i've created it because i've just made it you know just made it from love you know um so yeah you can probably see my sensory um table that we did uh what did we do we made um i made some colored corn flour and we just i just like added some scoops and things like that um, which that sense we went really well actually all my older kids wanted to play with that as well so they played with Mr 14 months um, and played with him while he's doing that activity which was really nice actually um, so it's always nice watching them play and everything but every but it was quite messy so I ended up putting it into the red tray to try and contain the mess and I would obviously advise you to do that or if you have like a shower um, like a shower curtain or something like that that obviously that you're not using you can just throw that down and then do your sensory on top of it and then it's easier to just clean up you just literally scoop it all up and just dispose of it as you will but um yeah i've decided to use my tray i've had a lot of these anyway because we used to do a lot of sensories um clubs and stuff like that so i have like a good few of big ones of these trays um i have them in i think most colors i think i've got like six of these um, but I think most of them are in the shed, so I, but I just keep this one out um, and I just keep like spraying it down, washing it and putting my new sensories on top of it. So yeah, it makes it easy, life easier for myself, which is great. So yeah, I need to get rid of that sensory now because I've just lifted it off the floor so I can set this water table up. And then once I set this water table up, I will obviously um, set it up so the kids can actually play with the water table outside rather than indoors obviously you can always use the water table for indoors but i what you don't want to do is be like oh no don't spill it on the floor you know just sort of interfering with the play you kind of just want them to splash and and just experiment with the water so i'm gonna once I set this up the weather should be still nice it's been raining slightly so i don't really know whether i'm gonna if we are going to be able to get some outdoor play done today but if we if it's not raining like now it's not really raining but it's a bit cloudy um then we could still go outside because it's quite warm still so yeah and then we can just play with the sensory table so yeah i'm excited let's just let me just get on and just show you this table and this is going to be your middle and then these are going to be your sides so I've got two sides, two sides and four sides. And then this is going to be the play tube, the water tube. So they would just pour the water through this connector. So yeah, hopefully I will be able to get this together properly. But yeah, I'm probably going to, I may fast forward this, but I'm not sure. <laughs> but I'm going to, yeah, let's, let's get it together. That's perfect. I don't know if I'm okay. I don't see the light of day. Looking up to higher ground, thinking that'll be your sweet escape. These days, gotta schedule the romance. They say that love is a slow dance. A short bike ride to the crib, using no hands. Oh, did it feel like I'm floating? But I'm falling with both eyes closed when I let the world spin. Testing the water, she got my nurse tense. Back when I ain't even have a purpose, I was so eager to learn some things. Anxiety bring out the worst to me. Society paint me as enemy. My making it by that remedy. I'm more occasional, don't do it regularly. Backs under my eyes, weighing down heavily. Mama been worried, the devil allegedly deep in the plan. Subconsciously wanted it since I was 10. I thought I was sharp on my scroll and my pen think it did. So mama found she did them legs. She told me that's not who I am. But now these I put on for the fam, see you when I can. I'm surrounded by my feelings, I'm stuck on a Ferris wheel. I bet I perish with 140 acres. She wants the horse and the carriage, a portion and portion of garbage. I talk to the mirror, I know that life's not the Ferris. I lost my can, I can't pay off the bills with the blessing. I sure I relate to the red and page. It's feeling like money is every day. Money is every day. It's everything I need. Till I lay my eyes on you. What this is, yeah, but it feel like it's real, baby. I don't 
wanna pretend, no I just wanna come clear, wanna see you again This was everything I need right Not so fond of change I'm too caught up in my way of thinking I get by on me No, I don't need nobody Yes, I was so naive Somehow I'm still all in on me Yeah, yeah Way too many times I let the ball drop Now I'm Steph Curry with the wrist flicks So they cold shoulders never defrost No deal, but I pre-floss with the money tree And a deep pot, so I'm corner wings with the rundown Bitch, I'm all in the field with the cleats off Everything that I want out of reach I had the tunnel vision, couldn't see far Negative vibes that I feed off Got me up in and down like a seesaw All these decoys hit the destroy Usually keep it poised, but it's ultra violent With the power moves when I deploy For the real ones, I wanna feel something Looking for a sign that I might be worth your time. Yeah. When I look into your eyes, it made me feel alive. Ah. I can finally relax. The play table, or let's just say the water table, splash table, is is complete. It's finished, and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Um, leave me your comments below and let me know what you think of how you think the table looks and let me know if it's inspired you to create something for your little ones as well. Um, yeah, I always wanted to create this one and uh, been meaning to do it and I'm so glad I've actually just focused on it this week and just got it done and I just can't wait until he wakes up from his nap just to see him playing with it and then just enjoying just enjoying the table so if you've reached the end of this vlog then I thank you thank you for watching us thank you for supporting our channel um because we have had Splash and Mash channel our channel has been going on for a while now and we have had so many of you guys support us on our Instagram page as well so I just yeah just appreciate you guys and obviously I appreciate you new followers that have subscribed to us today and if you haven't already then don't forget to subscribe because I will be doing a lot more vlogs um yeah I'm going to be doing a lot more vlogs of just my just daily messy play mummy life running around getting stuff ready for Mr 14 months um and yeah it's just all fun so yeah if you've reached the end of this vlog then thank you thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video cheers